Mill Fall Festival 5K. Finished second overall in around 18 and a half minutes. I'm not sure my exact time. I didn't get the look yet. But it was within that 18 and a half, give or take a second or two. They have a 10K as well, but I chose the 5K because my ankle has been a little bit messed up. The Achilles has been inflamed about a week or two now. And the other day when I was running Lower Highlands, I kicked the rock right into my ankle bone and Achilles. So that's why I came to Scottsdale today instead of going to Border Beast like I was supposed to because I knew I couldn't hang, I guess, at the Border Beast today with my ankle. But I wasn't going to go up there and just struggle cause more pain. So I came here today and I'm very impressed. Um, they had a record amount of people here today, 250 is what they were saying. They usually only have roughly like 100, 120 people. So this basically doubled the size that they usually have. So that was pretty cool. Again, I've never been to Scottsdale in my life, so I didn't know what to expect. The town itself is actually pretty nice. Seems like there's a lot of things to do. I might have to come back down here and check out some of the other activities. Look like they have like a nice theater and there's look like a couple nice places to eat and shop at. So yeah, it seems really cool. Um, the course itself, at least for the 5K, I can't speak for the 10, but my buddies say it's the same way. It is a little bit hilly. I only got 242, I think, feet of gain in the 5K, which realistically for PA is not a lot but for some reason today it felt double um, that it just felt harder in general than it should have been I don't know maybe it's because the hills well we had like two right away and when I say hills I don't mean nothing like two real steep or difficult or long it's just the placement of them is what makes them so difficult like being right away and not knowing not knowing the course I didn't have any reference to how to attack it so I probably did go out a little bit too hard when I was up at the start line I did start back maybe two three rows there was a you know, maybe like 10 people that looked like they were going to go out fast. There's a couple of people that honestly probably shouldn't have been up there, but whatever. So I was like, all right, just let them go and do their thing and then catch them later and just stay within sight of them. But I right away usually did my normal routine going out front because I didn't want to get stuck behind some people that were in front of me and it was obviously that to me right away that I was going to get stuck behind them so that's why I moved around and took off so burned up a little bit a little bit too much early on not that I burned up we'll just say I went a little bit harder than I was planning to early on and then I was quickly in fourth place after I made my move around the group of people and then from there until the split of the 5 and 10k which is roughly about a mile and a half I saw the two I saw two people out in front they were running side beside each other but uh, Brandon and the kid who Brandon was doing 10k and the kid who won the 5k they were basically running side to side each other and I'm like oh just let them go do their thing because I thought they were both in the 10k if I knew that kid running beside Brandon was in the 5 I would have went a little bit harder to stay closer to him early on there was Nick like, was right in front of me and I was going back and forth what to do with him I wanted to draft off of him a little bit front of him and just run a little bit harder so I was going back and forth and I wasn't sure what Nick was doing at the time I was hoping he was doing the 10 but that's sort of why I was staying behind him early on because I was figuring if 
I stay behind him to save some energy and he's doing the five, then maybe I can save some energy to push past him closer to the finish line. But he kept going, and then one kid who won the 5K turned at the split, and I'm just like, fuck. Because that kid had, you know, a good, I would say, 15 seconds of me in that 1.3-ish mile range. And I was like, shit. Because it was like right on a hill, too, and I'm like, I let him get out too much of a lead that early in the race. And I sort of took myself out of it from there mentally because I was like, I really don't feel like chasing down him today. Um, because early on in those first couple hills, I was burning up a little bit because not knowing the course, so I wasn't playing it smart. But I also let him get too much of a gap early on. So mentally, I was just throwing in the towel per se and said screw it and save it for tomorrow which I probably should have pushed a little bit more and tried to catch up but I didn't know that kid so I didn't know what he was capable of but I sort of just figured well not figured but mentally I just put it in my mind that no matter what I did I wasn't going to catch him which was dumb I definitely could have shrunk the lead and at least gave him a little bit of an effort so that was my stupidity. But whatever. Like Nick said, he held back earlier in the race because he knew the course and the hills. Whereas I didn't, and I should have, you know, put in some more work or been a little bit smarter about it. Now next year I know better if I come back, if I'm able to come back, what to do game plan a little bit more. I did have the map on my watch. I really didn't use it. I felt it vibrating the whole time at each turn. But the point of me using it was not knowing the course. I still won't remember the course next year per se. But not knowing the course meaning how they're going to mark it and have traffic I wanted to make sure if I was out in the front, I'd be able to know where the turns were. So I didn't get lost or, you know, whatever, lose the race because of something stupid happened or, or I was second guessing. But I will say this, the course was marked very well. There was what, orange and red arrows together the whole time, like pointing you in the right direction. You could clearly see the arrows. So I was very confident I was going the right way the whole time. And also, which was awesome, they had people stationed at every turn. <coughs> so it took the second guessing out. Well, at least for me, after like a tenth or two into the race, knowing how well they marked the course and how they were going to have things set up. So it was very organized in that fashion. I'm very surprised, but very grateful for it never having done this race before so definitely very happy about that but as I said I didn't look at my watch because of the arrows were very visible and people pointing in the right direction at the turns so I wasn't really paying attention at all and I didn't look at the elevation chart for each of the hills or what was coming up next and what was left I probably should have done that but again, it's a 5K with only like 240 feet of gain. I think when I uploaded it, it said 260, but eh, not that it makes a difference. <clears throat> um, I just figured it was going to be more rolling than a couple of those hills that were a little bit of a leg burner or lung burner. Um, so that did throw me off just a tad. Overall, I guess I had a good race. It was about the time that I would expect coming in. I mean, it could have been in the low 18s, maybe even broken the, into the 17s if I knew the course and how to actually run it. I definitely could have knocked off 20 seconds of the time. I'm confident in that, especially after I gave up. You know, some of those like downhill sections, I didn't push where I normally would have, but that's on me. I'm trying to think what else.
else to say about the race itself. But it, it is challenging, but it's also a fun course. Um, again, you shouldn't worry about getting lost at all. Um, now, it also is not a closed course per se. Like some of the cops and firemen and other volunteers were redirecting traffic, but there was still some traffic on the course, but it was safe traffic. And what I mean by that is you didn't have to worry about douchebags driving 60 miles an hour past you. Um, the, like maybe the two or three cars that I did encounter basically stopped or were doing like five miles an hour. And this wasn't like single lane roads either. This was double wide lanes. So you have like a full lane to stay on yourself. So it was a very safe course in that manner. And again, there was no douchebags um, almost hitting you at all because you didn't have such a big amount of space to run on on top of like sidewalks or brims of the road. So that was cool. After the race, I hung around at the finish line for about another half an hour or so. Took some clips and then I just started talking to people. And then they have the awards. I don't even, I don't even know where, I think, what building it's at. But they had some pizza there, but I got there too late. So I, did, I got like one small slice. They had a bunch of beer. They had some cool awards. These are the uh, medals. I don't know if you can really see them. This is this, uh, overall. I know it's probably going to be backwards, but whatever. But you, they gave everybody this year a finisher's medal because it's their 150th anniversary, like Scottdale itself. So that, um, that's why they gave out finishers medals this year. I don't think they do that every year, at least from my understanding. But then the, the uh, age groups overall has got an additional medal. And then they handed out a bunch of like more prizes. They had a couple of like, waste, uh, waste packs some handhelds and then like backpacks. I know like me at the 5k I got finishing second I got a handheld which I gave away. Um, in first place got a backpack as well. So they were giving out some stuff and then they had like cold plunges at the finish line. So it's kind of different as well. Want a beer if you're into drinking beer. So overall, I would say it's a good experience. The festival looks like it's pretty huge itself. Look like a lot of canopies and stuff set up. A lot of good food vendors. So if you want to come down to the Fall Festival, I would recommend it. I was going to stick around, but I got stuff to do today. They actually have a parade at 12. But I didn't want to stick around for that. Because then I wouldn't get home until like 2 in the afternoon. So... Yeah, it was a pretty good event. I was very happy that I went and impressed actually in the organization. From registration to the race itself, to the finish line, and to the awards. So, you know, that takes a lot for me to say. So I'm not easily impressed, but I was definitely impressed. Well, they left a good impression with me today. People were very nice. Um, even like the 250 racers, like everybody was just, you know, chit chatting, having a good time. So I think it was nice to see. It's an overall good environment as well. So, like I said, I would come back and I would recommend this race if you get a chance to do it. I know this time of year there's a lot of stuff going on lot of different races to choose from. This race seems to be going and growing and doing good. So there is that. I guess that's it. So I'm just trying to